Hexagram 57 Gentle Wine of Change Hexagram 57, also known as penetration or the gentle. This hexagram represents subtle influence, bending and yielding. Here are its key aspects. Judgment. Penetration indicates modest success. It furthers one to have somewhere to go and to see the great man. Imagine a gentle breeze subtly influencing its surroundings. Yielding and adaptability lead to favorable outcomes. Image. Two wine trigrams follow each other. Forming penetration. The superior person spreads their commands and carries out their undertakings. Like a gentle breeze, act with quiet persistence. Soar in the dragon and the gentle wind of change. Hey there, little adventurers. It's your favorite fire-breathing storyteller. Soar in the dragon, back with another tale. Today, I'm going to tell you about the time I learned an important lesson about gentleness, persistence, and making changes. So, cozy up in your favorite spot and let's dive in. One day, I woke up feeling grumpy. My cave was a mess. My scales were dull. And I had a tickle in my throat that made my fire come out as tiny hiccups instead of impressive flames. That's it. I declared to my reflection in my mirror, which was actually just a very shiny rock. I'm going to fix everything right now. I stomped out of my cave determined to change the world. First stop, cleaning up the forest. I took a deep breath and blew as hard as I could, trying to sweep away all the fallen leaves. Whoosh! The leaves flew everywhere, along with poor Mr. Squirrel who happened to be nearby. Sorry, I called out as he sailed through the air, looking very confused. Next, I decided to polish my scales. I spotted a nearby lake and did a cannonball dive. Splash! I came up sputtering, only to see all the fish giving me annoyed looks. Oops! I said sheepishly. I guess I made quite a wave. Finally, I tried to cure my hiccuping fire by eating the spiciest peppers I could find. Bad idea. Very bad idea. Let's just say the resulting sneeze set a few trees on fire and the forest firefighter team a group of very organized beavers was not amused. Feeling defeated, I slumped down on a rock. Oh, scales and snouts, I sighed. I'm making everything worse. Just then, a gentle breeze rustled through the trees. I watched as it softly lifted fallen leaves, creating a beautiful swirling dance in the air. The lake surface rippled gently, making pretty patterns. Even the singed trees seemed to sway contentedly in the soft wind. A wise old owl fluttered down beside me. Ah, Yang Zoran, he hooted. I see you've been trying to make big changes. I nodded glumly. Yeah. And I messed everything up. The owl chuckled. Sometimes, the gentlest touch makes the biggest difference. Watch the wind. It doesn't force anything, yet it changes everything. I thought about this, so. I should try to be more like the wind. Exactly. The owl hooted, gentle, persistent, and adaptable. Taking this advice to heart, I started over. I gently swept the forest floor with the tip of my tail, making neat piles of leaves which Mr. Squirrel appreciated for his new autumn theme treehouse. I slowly swam in the lake, creating small waves that the fish surfed on giggling with glee. And for my hiccups, I sipped some cool water and took deep, calming breaths. To my surprise, everything started to improve. The forest looked tidier. My scales began to shine, and my fire was back to its usual impressive roar. Wow! I said to the owl, I guess sometimes the smallest actions can make the biggest changes. The owl winked. Indeed, young dragon. And remember, Change takes time. Be patient with yourself and the world around you. And so, my little friends, that's how I learn the power of gentle persistence. Remember, you don't always need to make a big splash to make a difference. Sometimes, a gentle breeze can change the world. Now, who wants to see me do my new gentle juggling act? I promise not to set anything on fire this time. The end. Lessons learned from Hexagram 57 The Gentle 1. Gentle persistence is powerful. Zoran learns that small,
consistent actions can be more effective than grand gestures. Two, adaptability is key. The dragon discovers the importance of adjusting his approach based on the situation. Three, patience in change. The story illustrates that meaningful change often takes time and shouldn't be rushed. Four, harmony with surroundings. Zoran learns to work with his environment rather than against it. Five, self-improvement through gentleness. The dragon finds that being gentle with himself leads to better results. Six, observation and learning from nature. The wind serves as a teacher, showing Zoran a new way to approach problems. Seven, unintended consequences of forceful actions. The initial attempts show how forceful changes can lead to unexpected problems. This story reflects the essence of Hexagraph 57, which is often interpreted as the gentle or the penetrating wind. It emphasizes the power of gentle, persistent influence over forceful action. The hexagram suggests that subtle, continuous efforts can penetrate and create lasting change, much like wind shaping a landscape over time. It encourages flexibility, adaptability, and a harmonious approach to achieving goals. The story shows how Zorin, through learning to be gentle and persistent like the wine, is able to make positive changes in his environment and himself, embodying the wisdom of this hexagram. In summary, Hexagram 57 encourages yielding, subtle influence and alignment with higher principles. Be like the wind, gently shaping your path. 1 to 3.